Just telling myself that, wow, I'm, I'm probably going to die here. He survived being shot in the face while serving food at a George Webb restaurant in Wauwatosa. 12 News Hillary Mintz tells us about the customer confrontation that left him lucky to be alive. Uh, I do remember just leg on the ground and just bleeding out. Shot in the face over a $3 hamburger. This 26-year-old George Webb server says he thought his life was over. I was in so much shock. I don't really remember being in much pain, but I remember kind of uh, internally freaking out and being very scared and just telling myself that, wow, I'm, I'm probably going to die here. Midnight, January 30th, Anthony Rodriguez says he was the only server working at the restaurant on 122nd and North. He says a few customers became upset over an incomplete order. They were asked to leave, but instead opened fire. I never expected to get shot um, just being a server. A little more than two weeks later, Rodriguez spoke with 12 News wearing a neck brace, stabilizing part of his spine fractured by the bullet. The bullet went through my upper lip and took out my upper teeth and um, cracked my bottom teeth, so those will have to be replaced. There's still a big fragment um, in my throat for the bullet. Police arrested these twin sisters who are now facing attempted homicide charges, accused of shooting Rodriguez, then stomping his face while on the ground. I hope that they get the judgment that they, that they deserve because it, it was brutal what they, what they did. This father says he feared he'd never see his little boy again. Just disappointment that it had to come to this and disappointment that um, I was almost taken away from my family. It's amazing you survived all this. It's amazing that I'm able to walk. It's amazing that I'm able to speak. It's amazing that, I'm, you know, that everything about it's amazing. In Wauwatosa, Hillary Mins, WISN, 12 News. The two sisters charged in the shooting, Brianta and Brianna Johnson, are being held in jail on $100,000 bail.